Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sparkle Kavi. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little bird. Uh, it's a very easy project. You can even involve your kids to make this. Uh, you can use these birds to uh, make uh, door hangings or uh, uh, Christmas tree ornaments or you can use as a back charm keychains or you can use uh, different bright colors and make baby mobile to hang in nursery. So let's see how to make these cute fellas. Supplies that you will need uh, this bird template. Uh, you can freehand draw it or uh, you can directly download from the description uh, link given in the description box. Uh, any hard sheet to make our template cut out, pencil, scissor, some different colors of felt, embroidery floss. Uh, if you don't have embroidery floss then you can use this uh, regular sewing thread also small needle and uh, polyfill or you can use cotton also first cut out this template of on the paper cut uh, all the parts like this then take your cardboard sheet any uh, hard sheet and uh, trace all the part on it these two also um, trace it on cardboard and cut it out So my uh, cutouts are ready. I can uh, use this hard sheet again and again and it makes easy to uh, trace on the felt also. So now uh, we will keep it aside and uh, take our felt. We will quickly trace these uh, templates on my felt. So now my cutouts are ready. Uh, you will need two pieces of each part like this. Uh, now then uh, take your needle uh, thread and tie a knot at one end. First we will draw the eyes. So uh, here I have uh, already mapped from the template. Remember when you trace uh, take care you are not making uh, or uh, tracing on this side you have to trace on the opposite side uh, if you want uh, you can just stick any uh, bead or stone like this or just uh, glitter or uh, you can even use any sharpie pen to make eyes um, but uh, here we will uh, make eyes with the thread so take your uh, black thread needle poke it from the back bring it up and make a small cross and tie knot at the uh, in the back side Now uh, do the same for the uh, other part. Now we will uh, stitch the feathers first. Uh, thread your needle and tie knot at both the ends. Uh, then place this small part on in the center of this big one and uh, take the needle uh, you can uh, choose any color of thread 
so here i am using this orange as the background color is orange uh, then bring the needle from the back uh, in uh, in the pink part then poke it on the orange part like this then again with some distance uh, bring it up uh, in the pink part then again go on the orange one so uh, basically here we are doing overcast stitch and uh, if you don't know how to do overcast stitch then uh, you can watch my uh, video on overcast stitch uh, you will get clear idea what we are doing here so uh, quickly we will do this stitch so uh, it will look like this now uh, we will stitch this feather on the body main body so arrange it in the center like this and uh, in the same way uh, we are going to stitch this on this blue uh, this orange and blue together with the blue thread as my background color is blue so i will use uh, blue thread or uh, you can use any color you want so uh, we are done with the uh, stitching of head feathers so in the same way uh, do the uh, opposite part also so my uh, opposite part is already ready so now uh, take these two parts and uh, place them one on another and now we are going to stitch this body so start from this uh, from the lower part from this point stitch all the way around and come to this point and stop here leave some space so that we can fill the polyfill inside this so take your needle and thread so here I am using blue color thread not tie knot at the ends now we will do we are going to do the running stitch so insert your needle from this inside from the back of one uh, one part and so that our uh, knot will get hide inside do the running stitch then go back then bring the needle from back to up there's a detailed video on uh, running stitch you can check that video i will give all the links of these videos in the description box we will quickly finish this stitch i have did the running stitch and uh, i stopped here so uh, now we will insert the polyfill inside it so take your polyfill or cotton take in small uh, pack quantity and uh, insert it inside this bird uh, use pencil or chopstick anything and push it inside on the uh, on the top on the head side push it 
then take some more push it inside on uh, in the tail side little bit keep filling so uh, this much is sufficient so it's get puffed so now uh, we will close this opening now close this opening with the remaining running stitch in this way our bird is ready so cut this uh, threads which are coming outside so you can see how pretty our bird came out on the back also and uh, now we will uh, thread insert the thread for the hanging so uh, take some thread any color so uh, you can use white color so that it will not show so it's already threaded so i will use this blue color only so uh, insert it from the top and uh, tie knot on the top you can uh, thread uh, beads if you want for hanging If you like today's tutorial then give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it thank you bye bye